Hello everyone and welcome to another Your Keys Bits and Bobs Home Tech. Today we have another unboxing and yes it's another microphone. It's made by a company called Comica and this is the CVM V30 Pro R and I'm not sure what the R stands for but that's what it says on the Amazon website. This is a super coordinate directional condenser shotgun interview microphone and I bought it through a company called Fuflex or Fu Fuflex? Fuflex. I bought it through a company called Fuflex and it cost me just under £60 so it's not cheap but hopefully you get what you pay for and I'll stick a link in the video description in case you decide you want to buy one so what we're going to do, we're obviously going to do the unboxing we're also going to do a mic test just to see how good it is or different to the one I'm using right now so I've uh, one of these little mics on at the moment so with that we'll get on with the unboxing so we can see what you get for your money. Hopefully a very good microphone. Right, nicely presented by uh, Comica. Shows you what you're getting in the box with the clear cover. Also got a picture on there. So it says it's a super coolant. Yeah, basically you should stand in front of it, but it will pick up sound from around you, but not very clearly. Uh, gives you a bit of information on the side, says so super coordinate, e excellent shock has all been 10 decibel adjustable sensitivity, so if it's not picking up enough sound you can flick a little switch and it'll increase it by 10 decibels, so hopefully that will give you enough sound. Super anti-interference, hopefully. Low cut filters, low cut filters, got another little switch, flick the little switch and it will try and cut out more of the wind noise, especially if you're outside or background noise, and wind muff, and we will have a little demonstration to how easy it is to put on. Low self noise, and easy to install. Um, the way I understand it, it takes battery, so it's something to bear in mind. It's either treble A's or double A's, I'm not sure at the moment. So it obviously comes Obviously, it's not obvious, is it? Also comes with a Q code, which will help, help you out. And also the features, tells you all about the features, specification on the back. So yeah, I'll quickly show you around the box, because I know how much you like to see around the box. See that? Yeah, I think they've done a nice job on presentation shows you what's in the box and uh, protects it so let's get her out let's see what you get for your pennies or well, in this case pounds lots of pounds so looks like you get user user manual so let's have a quick look so you get user manual shows you a picture of it sitting on a camera so a quick flip through it was in chinese by the way looking so Chinese and Chinese and English. So it shows you how to set it up, how to use it all. It shows you how to put the batteries in as well, which is handy. And we'll have a look at that in a minute. So that's a manual. What else have you got here? Uh, this is a uh, another Q code, and it's a registration, professional audio equipment. So it's a registration form to fill out, one in English and one in Chinese. Right, Andy. And what's this? Uh, Comica Audio Microphones Authorised Dealers. All oh, right, so you've got more Q codes. You've got Facebook, uh, looks like uh, Instagram, and Comica's own website. So, and it says, Dear Sir Madams, thank you for your purchase. Gives you a little bit of information. So, yeah, very professional. Right, so let's have a look what you get inside as well. So, this is your windshield. I think they call it a cat. Ew. So this is your little windshield and it says insert here. Okay. Right, so you put your microphone in there and this must just clip over, yeah? Okay. That should be quite easy. Or oh, it's a pulley. It's a pulley. It says insert here, so you'd insert it in your microphone in there. We're gonna try that out in a minute. Once we get the microphone out, of course. Right, so here is the microphone. And this, this should just pull off. Yeah, so you can do it with or without this on. 
me personally I prefer to leave them on like so and let me check see what batteries it takes right so it takes treble A's and I will stick some treble A's in there give me a second right so I put some treble A's in there shut it back up that's it so it comes with a nice lead it's not going to be very long but then you shouldn't need it very long uh, and the lead is built in, so you can't swap the leads out. Uh, it comes with a shop mount as well. So it's built in shop mount, which is this little thing here. Yeah, see that? So first impressions, yeah, it looks very nice. It looks very professional. It's all made out of plastic by the feel of it, or most of it anyway. So hopefully it will do the job. Like I said, we will test it out. Let's have a look at the controls. So on the back, you got comic car. It says comic car. We put the batteries in, so it's off. So you've got your normal setting, so you've got green light for a normal setting, and then you can increase the decibels by 10. So for whatever reason, if, it come, if you're coming out a little bit quiet, you can increase the decibels by another 10 decibels. So it should hear you a lot, a lot better. Oh, we don't want doing that, do we? Don't we? We don't want to train up, do we? And this is also for background noise, so you can flick switch over to reduce background noise. So we will be testing that anyway. Well, hopefully, anyway. I'm not sure how we're going to test it. Hopefully, we won't get any background noise. One downside, I've just realised that you're going to have to make sure you turn that off when you're not using it. But then I have to turn this mic on and off because this is all battery powered. We're going to have a quick reading instructions and we can set it all up. Right, so I've had a quick reading instructions and I'm glad I did really because one of the things it shows you is how to put the muff on. The wind muff, this here, look, it fits all over it basically, with leaving a little bit on the bottom and obviously the back end so you can do your adjustments. So, yeah, very pleased I actually read the instructions. So, the little hole or the small hole actually goes over the back end, so you can just take that off like so, yeah, and the rest of it goes all over this. And I'll just pull that out, so that goes back in there. So yeah, so I'm quite pleased that I've read it. So basically you just push it all the way in, get it up as far as you can. The label, the label that's with it goes on the bottom. So that is quite handy to know. So look, so you've basically covered the whole thing. Yeah, so that's basically it, cover that. And then the small hole, you flick it over there, like so. And Bob's your uncle. There you go. And that's it. So that was quite easy. I'm glad I had, had a quick look at the instructions and thought, oh, that's how you do it. Yeah, very pleased about that. So that's very helpful. Nice and clear instructions, by the way. So uh, well done, Comica. So now what we're going to do, we're going to test it. Right, so I'll make this as brief as possible. Yeah, it's raining. Uh, hopefully the sound is OK. I think it is. Uh, there is a bit of an echo in my room. I've got the camera still in the room because it's chucking it down at the moment, or well, raining quite heavily anyway. So I uh, hope the sound is okay. We will find out in a second. Right, so we've had a play about of it and really listen, and I think it sounds okay. It's a little bit echoey in this room, and I've had that problem for quite a while, so I've had to play about of it on my microphone, on this one that I normally use. That one, I haven't done any adjustments, but it's the same, like I said earlier, you need to play about finding sweet spots to reduce background noise, your pick up or your gain so that you know depending on how far away you are I mean the closer you get to it the clearer it will sound but for me personally I normally have my camera quite far away so that I get a nice bit of background in so this is more for doing interviews and that so you're not normally too far away from people so perfect for doing interviews is it worth £60? yeah I think it's worth £60 it gets my thumbs up uh, I'm quite impressed. I love the fact it comes with a shop mount and a wind filter. We didn't really get a chance to test it out, so I could just chuck it down at the moment. So one of those things you need to play about with. I think, yeah, it's definitely worth £60. It definitely gets my thumbs up. So with that, if you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you didn't like it, give me a thumbs down and uh, please subscribe. Thank you very much for watching. Oh, and I'll stick the links in the video description in case you want to go and check it out.